and welcome to the British Baladashis Who's Who Awards and Gala Dinner 2022 at the Meridian Grand, hosted by the Bangla Mirror. It's going to be an inspirational event meeting so many inspirational people, award winners, nominees and businesses that have worked tirelessly throughout the last few years. Join me as we have some fun and conversations and find out more about how inspiring these people are. Yeah, my name is Abdul Karim Goni. I'm uh, founder of British Bangladeshi Who is Who. So congratulations on doing a really good event. Um, what's, what are you looking forward to? Uh, looking forward to uh, to the uh, be better better night to, to, uh, tonight. Yeah. So we are. Uh, uh, I have been doing this uh, event from last uh, 13 years. So this is our 13 years event. Uh, hopefully it will be go uh, better and well. Yeah. Today. Well, that's. Uh, I think that's one of the best community event uh, what we have in the Bangladeshi community, and that brings people from all sectors of life. And of course, there's a great publications which is called Who's Who, and that's been going on for uh, uh, so many. I think it's two or thirteen years now, and uh, that shows uh, the popularity of that book, what uh, Who's Who, and this is a unique event also. Uh, takes place every year and uh, I, I should thank Goniwai for this because he is the brainchild of it and he grew this event uh, in such a scale that uh, you come to this event you don't want to miss it again and uh, you know and uh, so thanks to him and his team for organizing such event. I'm here with Faisal Chowdhury, MBE, Member of the Scottish Parliament. Nice to see you again. Very nice to see you as well and uh, in a fantastic venue. And what's brought you here today? You know, the who is who, I've always had a big respect for who is who because I think who is who is doing an excellent work, you know, uh, recognizing all the hidden gem of Bangladeshi community. Where we are, you know, I mean, uh, it's because of them. It's because of their hard work and they have been hiding behind everybody and nobody has been recognizing them. And I think Who is Who has done a great job over the years and I'm really looking forward to meet the people who made us who we are. So I've just bumped into the Mayor of Camden, uh, Nassim Ali. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's a wonderful event, isn't it? Yes. And why are you supporting this event today? Well, it's called British Bangladeshi Who's Who. So anyone who's a, a who from British Bangladesh community will be here. And Goni Bai and the team do a fantastic job promoting the high-profile British Bangladeshis. And we have a lot of people in the British Bangladeshi community who are doing really well. It's always great to uh, raise the... Um, aspirations of other Bangladeshis and inspire especially the younger generation to achieve and want to be someone in life and I think you know for us as mayors of Camden I was the first Bangladeshi and first Muslim in Camden mayor and the youngest mayor in the country so for us it's always good to inspire the next generation and raise people's aspirations and what a wonderful venue and what a wonderful event. I'm here with Abdul Amin, Mayor of Swindon. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you very much. I'm fine and I'm really pleased to be here. And what's brought you to this event here today? Well, I've had the invitation um, at the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Um, I've been the Mayor of Swindon Borough Council for the past six months, so I understand this is the first event I've, I've, I've attended in London. So. It, that's what prompted me to come here. Yeah. And what are you looking forward to? Well, look, I'm looking forward to meeting so many people. I mean, I do, I have been here previously as well, and I do know quite a lot of people. So I would like to say a massive thank you to the organizers for organizing this fantastic event to celebrate the achievement of the British Bangladeshi people who have gone 
beyond and you know expected. So, yeah. I'm the Mayor of Worthing Borough Council, Hannah Chowdhury. And how are you doing today? Are you alright? Oh yes, absolutely. It's wonderful. Wonderful evening to be here. And it's a really nice outfit you're wearing. What are you wearing? I think a lehenga choli. Very nice. Very, very nice. Why are you here to support the British Bangladeshi Who's Who? I'm here to support all the people that has been nominated tonight and it's really wonderful to be here amongst all the British Bangladeshi because I'm also a British Bangladeshi and I feel so proud to be here and I feel really proud for Goni Bai who actually put this program together to give all the recognitions for the right people, the people who's actually really doing wonderful job in the community and getting the recognitions. It's not an easy job to find the people because he seems to be traveling along uh, um, many many places like for example myself like I'm from Worthing so not many people knew about me but he found me and I'm here and I'm here to celebrate with my peers and I'm really really proud to be here I'm here with the team at Work Permit Cloud and they are here at every event that I'm usually at so it's nice to see you again how are you doing oh thank you very much thank you my full team is today is there there are yeah. 20 of them and my family also I brought today, so it's a nice celebration, so I'm expecting a big things. Let's see what goes on. So it says, I'm with Lutful Rahman and his team, who is the boss, or the big boss, managing director, CEO, you know. Yeah. And um, who's this? Uh, we've got caseworker, are you for immigration? Yeah. She, she's the immigration manager. She's immigration the manager, Salma, isn't it? Yes. How are you today? How are you doing? Very well, thank you. I'm excited to see the event and obviously uh, to see Lutfa accept an award. It's a very honourable moment for us. And I'm here with M.A. Munim, OBE. He's the president of the Bangladesh Caterers Association. How are you? Very nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you as well. It's a wonderful event organized by Mr. M.A. Uh, you know, in this uh, British Bangladeshi community, it's not oh, mostly our talented people bring community in this level now. And Mr. Goni is looking that talented people and bring here and rewarded them, honor them. So we are grateful to who is who's Mr. Goni Bai. And uh, I think mainstream are not recognizing our talent. The people who are recognizing them is who is Goni Bai. And uh, we are delighted to be here with lots of community leaders, community friends and activists. And really this sort of event we are uh, looking forward every year and recognizing to recognize our main talent of our community. I'm here with Pasha Kondaka, MBE, who is a very renowned business leader in the industry. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. You well? Fine, thank you. Yeah. How are you finding this event today? This event is really great because after COVID, this is first time. And when yeah. they start this event, we was worried. But after all those challenges, Mr. Goni is doing a tremendous good job. Why? Because he's producing our talent to the mainstream, hidden talent. And we must know who are they. And he is doing this job. Because as a British Bangladeshi, we hasn't been recognized by mainstream yet. And mainstream don't care us. So we have to be united to recognize ourselves and who's who's. They are doing this job. And I'm really, really happy to see the another tremendous good event. And I wish them all the best. What brings you to this event today? Well, this is the British Bangladeshi who's who. We can come and get to see like the successful people that have been recognized in, within the Bangladeshi community. So it's, it's, it's really, really inspiring because we see a lot of new entry to the book every year. And it's been going for quite some time now. So I wish Goniway all the best. 
I'm here with Anwar Mir, he's a barrister and he's been very supportive of the Who's Who event. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, great to see everyone here, thank you all for coming. Um, it's a fantastic event, British Bangladeshi community, the unsung heroes of our community coming out and being flagged up to inspire the future generations. I hope everyone has a great evening, congratulations to all the winners and uh, let's look forward to many, many more years of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. with Abdul Hai from the British Caterers Association in Cambridgeshire and he was recently convener at the event, weren't you? How are you doing today? Amazing. It's uh, Gonibai has a, done an amazing job and it's, it's a one way of networking with our industry's people from the catering industry to various other organisations and I'm absolutely enjoying it. So yeah, Let, let's enjoy the evening yes. and I will get back to you later on. And I'm here with Askir Ali from Quilford Accounting Firm. Have I said that right? Correct. Yeah? Yes, my name is Askir Ali and I'm a managing director of Quilford. It's a local accountancy firm. And what brings you here today? Well, I'm here supporting the cause and I have a lot of my friends who are also here. And I think it's a great event to be uh, with, uh, with everyone and enjoy the actual event. I'm here with Councillor Atikul Hock, who is the Deputy Mayor. Wow, very nice to see you. Very nice to be here today. And what are you looking forward to today? Well, this is one of the fantastic events that I look forward to because it is really about who's who. So finding out the cream of the cream of Great Britain is wonderful to be here. And I think Gonibai just done it right. And seeing all these wonderful people, it's, it's a joy to be here. I'm here with another guest at the event for British Bangladeshi's Who's Who, Hiram Begum. How are you finding it today? Very good. It's, it's very entertaining to be here, to meet all the friends, family and guests. And very knowledgeable. It's a good program to have, to know our local community and also people who's done and all the achievements people have achieved over the years. It's a well-known program. Well done. Yeah. I'm here with Mansoor Ali, Deputy Chairman for Culture at the London City Corporation, and Ruhi, who is also a very renowned Bangladeshi actress. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Nice to see you too. It's a fantastic turnout. Very happy to be here. Yeah. You? It's a lovely program. Nice to be here. And what, what brings you to the British Bangladeshi Who's Who event today? Uh, it's an invitation. The invitation brings it, but it's great to see the talent and this is a fantastic way to celebrate and recognize uh, the contribution of British Bangladeshis um, and long may this continue and inspire other generations as well. What are you looking forward to? Uh, I will see something new, definitely I want to see. Um, every time I got to see something new and exciting, you know, it's lovely to be here with all the community people who are doing, uh, who are achieving something new and great, so it's nice. I'm here with Councillor Selim Chowdhury. He is the president of the British Bangladeshi Caterers Association. Nice to see you. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Nice to see you, Chachi. How are you? I'm okay, thank you, Sasa. Um, what brings you here to British Bangladeshi Who's Who? Oh, it's uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. I look forward to this event. You meet all the people of the you know community. It's a little gathering, so it's an annual work annual event that we look forward to and we're due to COVID uh, last couple of years as you know we've not been able to have, have an event. I'm here with Mohammed Udin. He's a candidate for the Liberal Democrats. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. And what how are you enjoying the event today? Oh I'm so privileged to be here and to be honored uh, by invited by the uh, conference team today's uh, meeting teams and uh, I am also uh, Huzu, one of the uh, participants, and uh, it's so nice to be here today and to meet all my friends after a long time, and it is my really pleasure, and thank you very much. Uh. Are you enjoying the event? What brings you here? Uh, I was in first event and I am coming uh, latest one. Looks like completely different than before, and they are going better and better, and I, I wish them very well especially who are involved in the who's who. I like to see more people coming in the political arena. 
like my my nephew Faisal, yeah, I have been helping him to become a member of the Scottish Parliament, and he break the history for the mail, and we like to see more people in the come political arena and put who's who in Bangladesh and get prosperous in future. Be Mister, unfortunately, no knighthood as yet. <laughs> Leslie Ball. And, and not you, a lady yet, but oh. she's a lady, but not, not a lady. If you know <laughs> so I mean. are you here guests of somebody guests else? Guests of Kazi from Prime Estates, uh, who we've known for many years. Lovely guy. Brilliant. And is this your first time here? Leslie's first, my second. Okay. I came just before Covid, enjoyed it, so I've come back again. Brilliant. And what were you looking forward to tonight's event? Just spending time with the Bangladeshi community. Yeah. Enjoying the culture and mixing with nice, friendly people. What about yourself? Celebration, lovely. Yeah? Yeah. And why is it important that we help the next generation of young people? Because the next generation of the future. Yeah. Ladies and we have to help the future. They have to have the wisdom of the guidance of the older people and then hopefully they can make things better for the world. I'm here with the glorious lady that does no does no does not need any introduction. How are you today? I'm good, Tamanna. How are you? It's really lovely to see you and your beautiful smiley face always. No, it's nice to see you. What are you wearing today, Afro? Uh, well, I'm wearing one of my old saris that my mum gave me, and it's an organza sari. Okay. Yeah. She's like the fashionista of every event she is. Now, what brings you to this event today? Well, as you know, it's the who's who, the British Bangladeshi who's who event. And it's good to be back after, what, I think two years? Two years. So, yeah, fantastic. It's just a fantastic vibe. Always good to see familiar faces, some new faces. Yeah, and everyone coming together to celebrate achievements. Well, I hope you enjoy and don't eat too much. Fantastic. I hope you enjoy it as well. Thank you, Tamanna. And why are you supporting the British Bangladeshi Who's Who today? BB Who's Who um, started off at Meridian Grand in 2015, which was our opening year. And since then, um, Goni Bai, who is in charge of BB Who's Who, has become like a family member to us. Um, the Bengali community is such an important part of our business. And we are just so happy to celebrate the successes within the community. And it does feel like one extended family to us. So I'm here with the general manager of Meridian Grand, Fahmina Chowdhury. Really well done for putting in this great event on today. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming here today. Is your first time at Husu? I've actually been to Meridian Grand quite a few times for weddings and things, but it's my first time for the British Bangladeshi Who's Who event. Oh, well, welcome. Welcome. Um, it is a great night. We've been doing who, Who's Who's Who for many years now. It's something a little bit different for the community, um, and we're looking after from the decor to the catering to the actual venue itself. So let's you know give us some feedback on how, how you found the night. So I'm here with Aki Rahman, and he has just won an award. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling ecstatic. Um, I'm actually uh, happy to be here. I am happy. I'm definitely. Are you sure? Because you look a bit like. <laughs> no, no. I'm just uh, overwhelmed, and um, they, they asked me to go on stage. I, I got the first award. I, I knew I was nominated, but I didn't know I won. And then, what do you know? They gave me the first award. I didn't know what to say. I didn't have a speech or anything ready. So, you know, I'm, I'm a little still in shock. <laughs> no, no. That's perfectly understandable. You've obviously done some really important work. What is next for you? Um, Obviously more climbing. I've climbed the highest mountain in the world. Um, uh, you think what else is left to do, but there is a lot more to do. There's a lot more technical mountains. And um, I'm going to climb three, mount three 8,000 meter mountains in one trip next year, inshallah. Wow, I wish you the very best of luck. And obviously, you're quite unique. There's not many Bangladeshi people that can be like, I have just climbed a mountain. How do we get more people to do that? Uh, uh, yeah, I am quite unique, but there should be a lot more climbing because um, climbing is not just about climbing Mount Everest, you can climb any mountain you want. Um, you can climb the mountain in your head. You know, everybody has a mountain in their head that they need to overcome and that's what it's all about. I mean, if you can overcome that mountain, you can overcome any mountain, to be honest with you. And climbing, you know, like, I don't know if you saw the video, um, I used to run 100 meters in 11 and a half seconds. I was triple jump champ of Great Manchester, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's all kind of boring, but I'm going to be completely honest with you and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm feeling, and we're talking a lot this is a long time ago. I'm feeling a lot healthier now than I did before.
I've had a wonderful evening at the British Bangladeshi Who's Who event hosted by the Bangla Mirror at the Meridian Grand in North London and it's been a really lovely event. I've met so many inspirational people who've got so many inspirational stories to share. It's been a really great night of entertainment, food and most importantly fun of course. So that's it for me today, it's Tamana Mia Bud Talk in North London.